Hubway is Boston's bike sharing system. In 2012, it included 95 stations, 1,300 bikes, and 500,000 trips. On weekdays, these trips tended to be concentrated downtown as riders used Hubway to commute to work. On weekends, trips were more evenly distributed across the city as riders used the network for leisure. Hubway saves people time, money, encourages exercise, and reduces traffic. But there are problems. As riders converge downtown in the morning or return home in the afternoon, some stations run out of bikes or docks. Take Bob, for example. Each weekday morning, Bob commutes from Central Square to the Financial District. Sometimes there are no bikes left near his apartment or no docks left near his office. Bob uses a real-time app to anticipate this, but it's not perfect. In fact, using real-time information, Bob correctly predicts his destination station will be full only 31% of the time in the morning and 25% in the evening. We set out to help Bob and improve on this baseline using predictive models. To do so, we explored patterns of network imbalance using singular value decomposition and k-means clustering. Based on station fullness, we identified four clusters, two of which are more prone to imbalances due to commuting. These trends are reflected geographically, with most commuter inbound stations located in large employment centers and outbound commuting stations located in residential areas. Next, we consider the impact of external variables. As expected, rain reduces ridership by 28% on weekdays and 40% on weekends. On Red Sox game days, ridership to and from the Fenway area stations increases by 11 to 30%. We use these variables and others to create three different predictive models, random forest classification, Bayesian inference, and regression. Overall, our models had little to no improvement over the baseline, but did provide some gain during peak periods. In future iterations, we might consider addressing issues with imbalanced classes, using an ensemble approach, and incorporating other data sources. In the meantime, Bob should continue using real-time data to plan his trips.